I'm going to start tonight with this new pattern I just picked up. Um, it is New Look 6511. And I'm going to do this longest version of the shirt. It's just a basic little shirt with a sheared bottom. And then this one has a little cap sleeve. I measured, um, I looked to see finish length on this. This one is 27 inches center back finish length. And you can kind of see where it hits around the hip. Um, this one is 33, so it will come just a few inches longer. I have enough fabric, I could make this long enough, I could make it all the way into a dress. Oh, it would look cute with leggings. So I'm going to cut out view C, size 18, and this is the fabric. Now this pattern does not call for, yeah, it's just any lightweight woven. Um, and it has a little, um, just a little opening at the neck with a button. I am going to though make it out of this, which is a knit. So I have a feeling, I'm looking at the neckline to see. Um, I may still do the opening at the back. Sometimes with knits, you can just pull it over your head. So I'm gonna, I'll do a test in that as I'm sewing it to see if I need to do the opening in the back or not. But I'm pretty excited. This should be a super fast little project to throw together. I want to show you the pattern pieces now that I have them cut apart and ironed. Uh, there's some interesting things about this. This one has a bust line dart, but it goes into the arm's eye here. See that? It's in the armhole. So here's a nice big dart. The little sleeve, look at that tiny little sleeve because it's a true cap. It doesn't go underneath here. It just sits in the top of the cap of the sleeve. So it's a true little cap sleeve. Back's pretty plain and simple. And then the ruffle bottom part, it's just a rectangle. Um, I did go ahead and add five, there was enough pattern paper at the top. I just left that on there. So the, I've added five and a half inches. So as it stands right now, if I cut it out like this, it will be dress length. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try it on and see if I like it or not. And I can just cut that right back off if I'd rather go back to it being a shirt. So this is it. It's very simple. Um, the skirt pieces, uh, it, this is one skirt piece is for front and back. So you're going to cut this two times, both times on the fold. The back is open. There is a seam down the back. So not on the fold. Sleeve not on the fold. Center front of the fold. Super simple. I'm not going to show you the cutting out and laying out process because this is very basic um, and it's pretty much exactly how the directions are. So the next time you see me, we'll be putting this dress together. So far, I have, let me pull my little parts out here. I've hemmed the little tiny sleeve and what I did is I serged it and then I did a really minuscule zigzag because this is a knit so that the sleeve stretches a little bit because it's a cap sleeve. It can, it's going to go all the way up here, but I just want to make sure that it pulls, that it doesn't pull, that I don't get pop stitches. So I did a tiny zigzag. It's completely invisible in this fabric, which is great. I've done my darts again, completely invisible from that side. On this side, you can sort of see it. And the way this is designed is this dart is pressed up into the arm's eye instead of down. It's the, um, so got my darts in and then I've done my center back. Now this has a center back seam, not in the skirt, but in the bodice. So I surged just the center back individually. And then I did a zigzag seam. It's five eighths inch seam allowance so that it does give a little stretch. Now I'm sewing a pattern that's meant for a woven in a knit, which can be done for some things. And if you look at the pattern, which I don't have sitting beside me, but the pattern um, could easily be transferred to a knit. Now this is, I've sewn long enough to know that, hey, I could do this in a different fabrication, but it is intended for a woven. So if you're, if you're doing this in a woven instead of a knit, just do a straight stitch for all of the things where I've done a zigzag. You don't need to zigzag as a woven. Um, but perfect for knit. So now I'm ready to go ahead and put this together at the shoulder seams. This um, garment is, hold on, let me grab something. This garment has bias around the neckline and on the inside of the arm. It has a little cap sleeve up here, but the bottom part of the arm's eye um, has bias. So I can either use 
I can just cut some more knit and do a knit. And because it's knit, I don't even really, I can kind of treat it like a ribbing instead of a bias and just flip it down. I also have this, which is woven bias that I used on my Vogue project. I have a whole bunch of this. I cut a whole bunch of bias. So I haven't decided yet, but I may actually go ahead and use a woven bias on my knit project for the neck and the arms eye, and it just stabilizes it nicely and it looks really cool like not that you would see it it's on the it's flipped to the inside but i just i would know it's there and i think it looks really nice together see how nice that would look together so i think i'm going to actually use my woven um pre-cut bias from another project to finish the neckline and the arms eye okay i'm going to um, go ahead and do the shoulder seams and the side seams now and then i'm going to um, it's ready to do the skirt. Then I do the side seams of the skirt. Such a fast project. So this will be a one day project again. I have got my bodice done, except for the neckline. So here's the cute little bodice, the little sleeve. I decided because I'm doing knit instead of woven, um, I surged my sleeve in like that. And then I just turned under and top stitched down the underarm instead of doing bias all the way around the arm side because I don't need it um, in a knit. But in a woven, definitely um, it would be great. Some wovens have enough give, especially in the arm side because there's bias, that you could do the same thing. You could search it and turn it under. It's a personal preference. And skirt. Here's my skirt. And this, this, this doesn't have pockets, this dress. So I added a pocket. You're looking at the inside. I'm gonna flip it around for you real quick. This is my Vogue fabric. So I didn't want a knit pocket. Um, I wanted a woven pocket because I, if you've ever had anything with a soft knit, this is like a soft t-shirty weight, it's a jersey knit, and you put something heavy like your cell phone in it, it pulls, it pulls the whole garment. So instead I put a, a, a sturdier fabric and it's just a scrap of that, but it looks cute. I think it looks really cute to have the um, different fabric in there. So here's my skirt. So the next step for me is to gather the top of the skirt. I've already got the hem surged at the bottom. So next for me is um, basting. So I'm going to baste along the waistline um, and then pin to my bodice and sew it in. I, it is noon and I have got the dress past the halfway point. So very fast project. I am gonna take a break because I'm going to lunch with my son here in a minute. And then I'll come back and finish the dress today. So a one day dress. I'm back from lunch with my son. Giant diet cherry lemon <laughs> left over. And so this is where I am with the dress. Right before I left, I had pinned in the skirt. Um, I had gathered and pinned. So this fabric, hides everything. This is from Joann's. It is a jersey knit, mostly cotton. It feels great. It drapes like a dream. It's super cute. I just think it's amazing. So I was, look at the back of this. You cannot even see where the seam was. This hides a multitude of, of sins. <laughs> Highly recommend this gorgeous fabric. And I'm pretty sure it comes in different colors. When I bought it, um, this was the only one that was in stock. Uh, at the time, I, I think I ordered it. Um, and I, this was the only color in stock, but I know since then, I think I've seen this in like a burgundy and some other colors. So if you can get this, Joann Fabrics, I can't remember what it's called, but it's gorgeous. It's um, a leaf print, very dotted. Let me get it kind of close. Hopefully that shows up. So all that's left now, because the skirt's on, look at that. And here's my pocket. I just have one pocket in the side just a little make-do pocket, just so I have somewhere to stick my phone or a tissue or something like that. I love a good pocket. It's even hemmed, and I pressed it in the hem. So all that I have left, this is so fast. I can't get over how quickly this dress went. Neckline. So here's my bias strip. Same fabric that I put in the pocket, and I'm just gonna bias bind my neckline, and all that I will need after that is a little button at the back and my dress will be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my bias binding. Last little step, bias binding the neck, and I'm gonna have a finished dress. Well, I was about to stop and show you the finished dress when my husband came down and decided to help me by fixing this little cabinet here. When it was installed, they forgot the little box that goes underneath that gives it the toe kick. 
and he decided to fix it tonight, which was awesome, or this afternoon, I should say. But he just came in and emptied out the whole cabinet. So here it is with all of my stuff, and I'm about to put it back in. So as soon as I have got all of my stuff put back in, I will show you my finished dress. I'm out of breath because I did a speed clean, but it's back in pretty close to how I want it. There's, I actually would kind of like a second shelf maybe in here and redistribute how they are on this top part because it's not, um, I know I could get more in, but at least it's nice and neat. Over here I have my um, mats for my silhouette hanging up. And at some point I've started working on the zippers a long time ago. I showed me putting zippers on um, hangers that I could hang inside these doors. And I've never gone back to it because you know what? I like doing more than organizing is sewing. Anyway, I'm done with that over here to the mess, and I'm going to show you the finished dress. Whew, I'm a bit of a mess, I'm a little warm, but the dress is completely done. S seriously, this is a one day dress. That's what the bias looks on, like on the inside. I hope that's showing up when I put it over my face. I can't see anything either. This is what it looks like from the outside. I, I'm going to change the button out at some point. I all I had were white or pearl buttons, so that's what's on there. I really would rather have a black button. And then for the loop, can you see this little loop? There's lots of ways you can do this, but what I did is I used really skinny elastic. It works so great for something like this. It's much easier to put on when it's on our bodies, behind your head. So that's the back. I really love this fabric. I'm, I'm seriously considering ordering it another color. So completely done dress one afternoon uh, to do it. And I'm going to, I'll take some pictures, put it on, show you how it looks put on. And I'll, I'll also say that I have been, let me grab them. Every time I make an outfit, I make a matching scrunchie. Not that I necessarily wear them together, but I often do. So here are some of my recent scrunchies. This one I had not ever finished. It's almost done, so I'm gonna sit down and finish this scrunchie, so. All right, the dress on next. The dress, it's actually a shirt pattern that I lengthened. I love it. It's cute, it's flattering, it's so comfy to wear. I did make it in a knit, which makes it even softer and stretchier, and I did put in a little secret pocket. But I'm gonna step back and let you see how it looks.